Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Stephen Mangan. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. A very warm welcome to the British Academy Television Craft Awards in 2018, awards which recognise and celebrate the skills of British television talent. Our television is lauded and admired the world over, and not just for Channel 5's restless leg syndrome, desperate for help. Tonight is our opportunity to pay tribute to the outstanding talent and expertise we have in this country and to honour those individuals whose work stands out in an already impressive field. What a year it's been. Outrageous plot twists, improbable plot lines, larger than life characters. I'm not talking about TV, I'm talking of course about the news. What is going on in the world? They used to say it was as if the news was written by the team behind the thick of it. More recently, as though by the writers of Black Mirror. No disrespect, but for a bit, could the news please be written by the writers of Love Island instead? <laughs> but never mind the pussy-grabbing mango Mussolini over the water. Never mind the nuclear escalations, the abuses of power, the corruption, the incompetence. Tonight, we're going to talk about the things that actually matter. Television. <laughs> yeah. We might as well enjoy ourselves while we can. Today they're only harvesting our data. Tomorrow they'll be harvesting our organs. After all, we're in a room with the brains behind Line of Duty, This Country, Blue Planet 2, Peaky Blinders, Inside Number 9, Catastrophe, and dozens of more brilliant programmes. Leading the way tonight with seven nominations, it's the second series of The Crown. The Crown, the Crown, if you haven't seen it, what are you, a communist, is the story <laughs> that takes us back to the glorious certainties of yesteryear, when everyone knew their place, public servants placed duty before self-interest, and women were paid considerably less than men. How we've moved on. Taboo has garnered an impressive six nominations. <laughs> Four of which four of which are for visual aspects of the programme. Costume design, makeup and hair, photography and lighting, and special visual and graphic effects. Like its leading man, Taboo is very easy on the eye. I do him. I have done him. I did him. I do him again. As in the news, the line between what constitutes comedy and drama seems to be harder and harder to define these days. The only fail-safe way on television to know if something is a comedy or a drama is to check how many awards it's been nominated for. I'm not saying comedy is treated as the poor relation to draw. I am, I am saying that, I'm saying that. Anyway, BAFTA recognises this anomaly and for the last five years they've awarded two writing BAFTAs. A BAFTA for those who write comedy and a BAFTA for those who can't. <laughs> Another show which caught the public's imagination in a massive way was Blue Planet 2. <laughs> it's it's a glorious testament to mankind's extraordinary scientific advancements, mankind's jaw-dropping developments in filming techniques, and to mankind's ability to shit titanic amounts of plastic into its own backyard. Uh, that was on the BBC, of course. Talking of the BBC, have you bought your apartment at the old TV centre in White City yet? Um, while doing some work on mine, I found a Blue Peter time capsule under the floorboards, which contained a steps calendar, a Tamagotchi, and a signed photo of Andy Peters. Uh, I did phone the BBC and said I dug up something from the 90s, seemed to send them into a bit of a panic. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. As a country, we really punch above our weight. Our television is the envy of the world. Let's celebrate that fact tonight. Finally, and this is something from my own personal experience, and I say it every year, please, please don't fret over winning or losing. You really don't need to win an award to validate yourself as a human being. <laughs> Not winning an award doesn't mean you're a bad person, okay? Just means you're not very good at your job. 
So, here we go, the Craft BAFTAs 2018. A big thank you to our official craft partner, Harman.